I would like to thank you for joining this webinar. Just a quick bit of, bit of housekeeping before we get started today. Phones will be muted throughout the presentation. However, we encourage you to ask questions. There is a chat box located at the bottom of your screen. You can type your questions into this box at any time throughout the presentation. We will have a question and answer period at the end of today's presentation. This webinar will be recorded and will live on our website for future reference. I would now like to introduce Mary McGowan, Executive Director of the Myositis Association. Thank you, Aisha, and good afternoon and welcome to the Myositis Association's webinar about the upcoming annual patient conference. I'm Mary McGowan, Executive Director of the Myositis Association. We are most excited about the upcoming annual patient conference in Minneapolis. As you may know, the annual patient conference is our biggest event every year, bringing together patients, care partners, clinicians, and global experts on myositis. We have several exciting presenters on today's webinar. Aisha Morrow, who you just heard from, our operations manager. She will present on the hotel and conference logistics. I'm pictured there in the blue dress. We have John McClund, the chair of the board of directors. John will share his personal story of attending annual patient conferences and the board's role. Linda Cobert, who is our communications and research director. She will inform us about invited speakers and conference sessions. Rose Diucha, the Bloomington Convention Bureau representative, will present on the numerous fun and exciting things that there are to do in the Minneapolis area. LaDonna Johnson, our programs manager, who will present on new support related programs that we will have at this year's conference. And finally, Tricia Shivas, Director of Strategic Partnerships and Development, who will highlight corporate partners that will be supporting and joining us at this year's conference. For those of you who are not familiar with the Myositis Association, I wanna spend just a few minutes providing a quick introduction to our organization and provide a brief overview of this year's conference theme. Next slide, please. So the Myositis Association is the leading international nonprofit association supporting those living with myositis, their care partners, and the medical community and researchers who care for them. We were founded by a patient uh, living with IBM. Her name was Betty Curie. Back in 1993, she began the organization with just 12 patients. And since then, it has grown to an international organization reaching thousands of patients and clinicians. Last year, we celebrated our 25th anniversary, and we are an international collaborator of researchers advancing discoveries. Next slide, please. It's really a five-prong approach to what the Myositis Association does. We educate myositis patients, care partners, and clinicians. We support patients and care partners and the medical community. We advocate for research and policies that meet the needs of patients. And we fund critical research seeking a better understanding and new treatments and ultimately a cure. And of course, we increase awareness of myositis internationally with an emphasis on the medical community. Next slide, please. We are most excited about the 2000 annual conference theme, Who You Are Matters. The focus will be on addressing the diversity of needs and challenges within the myositis community. Our sessions will be facilitated by leading global myositis experts. Conference participants can choose from nearly 90 educational sessions, seek answers to your own questions, and speak spend quality time with TMA members, our esteemed medical advisory board, board of directors, and diverse speakers and corporate partners. We hope you enjoyed today's webinar, which provides a sneak preview of the upcoming exciting conference. And I look forward to spending time with you at this extraordinary event in Minneapolis. Next slide, please. It is now my honor to introduce John McClun, TMA's board chair. Thank you, John, for joining us today and for providing a personal perspective of your experience attending annual patient conferences, why you think it is important for others to attend the conference, and perhaps a bit about the board's role at the conference. John? 
Thank you, Mary. Hello and good afternoon. As Mary said, I'm John McClun, and I'm the chairman of the board of directors for the Myositis Association. My myositis journey began the same year Betty Curry founded our great organization in 1993. Although I didn't join TMA until 2010 and didn't attend a conference until five years ago, I did attend support group meetings. In 2015, I attended my first conference. What an experience. My wife, Bonnie, who is my care partner, and I couldn't have imagined how many friends we would make nor how much information we would discover at that first conference. The world's leaders in myositis discussed my disease. Other patients who lived with my disease discussed what their experiences were, and I made many friends who are living with that same disease. Bonnie met other care partners who are experiencing the same problems of dealing with partner's disabilities that she was. I know you will experience the same excitement, feeling of inclusion and camaraderie that we felt and still do at each conference. I know you will meet the world's experts in your disease and have an opportunity to have your questions answered. The information presented at each conference is more than worth the price, but in addition, you will meet new lifelong friends who are priceless. I serve on the board of directors because I wanted to serve the other members and help make TMA even better than yesterday. The board is make up, made up of patients and care partners from our membership. We are solely needing board members to represent care partners, women of color, patients with dermatomyositis and polymyositis populations. If you have a desire to help make TMA even better tomorrow, please contact me or any other board member at the conference. We will be the ones wearing a black banner on our name tags. TMA needs your support. So please keep strong on your myositis journey. Thank you and have a good afternoon. I'll turn it back over to you now, Mary. Thank you. Thank you, John, for sharing your personal experience and the information about the Board of Directors. We will now hear from Linda Coper on the conference program. Next slide, please. Hello everyone, I am Linda Cobert, TMA's Research and Communications Director. We all know that myositis is not the same in every patient, which is why our conference theme is who you are matters. Even when people have the same diagnosis, there are huge differences in symptoms and how medications affect you. There are differences between men and women, between younger people with the disease and those who are older, there are differences in how the disease affects people of color versus Caucasians, between adults with JM and those who are diagnosed as, as adults, and care partners are affected differently based on the type of myositis their loved one has. Next slide, please. So part of what we're trying to address at this conference are some of these unique challenges that individuals face. Along with the sessions that we usually have from our medical advisors that focus on the individual disease states, we'll also have a session that focuses on women of color and myositis. We'll have several sessions just for women, just for men, just for younger patients, and we'll have a session for care partners. Next slide, please. We'll have more sessions this year on exercise, physical therapy, and occupational therapy, as many as 18. Some of the new re, um, re, these new rehab presentations will include an open question and answer session for um, exercise with um, our medical advisors, Dr. Hel Helene Alexanderson and Dr. Tate Chung, where they can answer your personal questions about exercise and physical therapy. We'll have Dr. Malin Regard, um, who, who um, is another member of our medical advisory board, who actually did the research on hand exercise in myositis, talking about that. We will have Dr. Louise Print Deirdrich, Deirdrichsen from Denmark, who did the research on blood flow restricted exercise for IBM. 
and we will again use the hotel pool to give participants the chance to experience aquatic exercise. So don't forget your bathing suit. Next slide, please. TMA is fortunate to have some of the world's leading experts in myositis as part of our medical advisory board. And one of the best things about the annual conference is that participants have the chance to meet these superstars and hear from them directly about your disease. So some of the new sessions that we have this year include Dr. Chris Weil talking about what we know about what's going wrong in the body with IBM and how researchers are targeting these issues in developing new treatments. Dr. Sonia Danoff, will, um, who is another new member of our medical advisory board, is one of the world's leading researchers studying interstitial lung disease. She'll be here to talk about lung, lung issues with myositis. Those of you who have been on prednisone for a while know, know that met, this medication can cause significant side effects. And Dr. Mazen Demachki will talk about steroid side effects and what you can do about them. Dr. Jens Schmidt um, will offer um, a very knowledgeable and understandable talk about new research developments for IBM. And we still need to confirm this, but we're hoping that we will have a talk about where we stand in the search for a cure for myositis diseases. And Dr. Perry Shea will talk about um, the process of clinical trials and how important it is for rare disease patients like myositis patients to participate in this research. Next slide, please. One of the other um, exciting presentations we will have is um, communications training with guest speaker John Capici. Um, you'll learn how to focus, frame, and craft to, um, your own story in a powerful way that will get people um, interested in your disease and help them understand what you're experiencing. Um, you'll be able to connect with audiences and help raise awareness of myositis and TMA's initiatives. And um, you'll learn how to craft your own story in various ways, like the two-minute elevator speech, informal talks, or formal presentations before a larger audience, and even media interviews. Next slide, please. One of the great things about um, being at this conference is the chance you'll have to meet and exchange tricks of the trade with others who have your disease. We formalized a couple of these opportunities for you to do this through some of these sessions. Um, we'll have several IBM patients talking about their extraordinary um, um, feats that they have experienced, including climbing Machu Picchu, for example, and filling that, that bucket list. Um, we'll have veterans talking about how to get VA benefits that you deserve. We'll have some self-care practices that people have found to be helpful, and a panel of myositis patients talking about their experiences as clinical trial participants. One of the most popular sessions is always when patients share their favorite strategies and devices. And for this session, we're inviting everybody to bring their own ideas or even the actual gadgets themselves that bring it along to the conference and share it with your friends there. Next slide, please. One of the other things we wanna offer um, through the conference is resources to help you manage the challenges of these diseases. Some of these sessions will include a patient advocate talking about what you can do to run, when you run into roadblocks and trying to get your health insurance to cover the meds your doctor has ordered. We'll have mental health is a big concern for us this year, so we're offering several opportunities to address this, including a panel of mental health experts, which we're calling Minding Your Mental Health. Several sessions for care partners will include a panel that we're working on with a couple of the different caregiver organizations that we're calling Caring for Care Partners. We'll again have talks about diet and nutrition for immune autoimmune diseases. And we'll have a panel of infusion therapy providers who will talk about resources and options for, to, for accessing some of the specialized medications myositis patients need. 
Next slide, please. And finally, we will again host Feel Good Friday Night. This is an opportunity to get away from all the heavy thinking and experience some self-care practices of your own. We're hoping to have some of the popular sessions from last year, including Tai Chi for Myositis Warriors, laughter yoga, chair yoga, and mindfulness meditation. We're also hoping to have some new sessions, uh, including Himalayan singing bowl therapy and um, a um, service animals training organization who will bring their puppies in training along so that um, to talk about how, how these animals are trained and to give you a chance to, to have a, 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 some puppy, puppy love. Next slide, please. And we're very excited to announce that our keynote speaker, Mary, Mary Siegel. Dr. Siegel knows what it's like to be, live with an invisible chronic illness. She, along with Dr. Paul Donahue, wrote the book, Sick and Tired of Being Sick and Tired, Living with an Invisible Chronic Illness. The book is now in its 16th edition and has become an important part of the canon for those living with invisible diseases. In her talk, you will learn new ways to view your illness, how to communicate with loved ones and doctors in the way that meets their needs, and how to deal with employers, families, and friends who don't understand your symptoms, needs, and pain. Next slide, please. Next up is LaDonna Johnson, who will talk about services, um, sessions for um, ser member services. Thank you, Linda. Hi, I'm LaDonna Johnson, TMA's member services manager. And I would like to share with you a special training for group support leaders. Now you're probably asking who can be a support leader. You can be a patient, a care partner, or a friend. We need people who care, someone willing to form a team, someone with organizational skills, someone who can devote a few hours a month, someone not afraid of minor technology like email or Zoom. In our support group leaders training, um, what you need to know is come and learn about tips and tricks on how to communicate more effectively with your support, support group members, how to find speakers, ideas for your newsletters, and how to keep your group members engaged. Our goal this year is to raise money also for research. So would you consider donating items of any specialty such as timeshares, frequent flyer miles, and hotel stays. Your donations will be greatly appreciated. You can send your items to my attention by August 1st, LaDonna Johnson, the Myositis Association, and the address is on the screen. You can also email me at LaDonna at myositis.org. I now would like to introduce you to Tr Tricia Chavez, Director of Development and Strategic Partnership. TMA is very excited to have a wide array of sponsors and exhibitors throughout the conference. TMA sponsors and exhibitors include industry leaders in drug and pharmaceutical development, specialty pharmacy, and home IVIG support, mobility and equipment support, and informational resources. 
TMA's sponsors and exhibitors are there to share information with you about their products, their support resources, and to learn the, chal the challenges patients um, that you have been facing so they can improve and care the care that they provide. Next slide, please. TMA is excited to share that patients and care partners will have extended opportunities to engage with exhibitors. Through previous conference evaluations, we learned that patients and care partners felt limited by the schedule in their opportunity to interact with our exceptional exhibitors. In response to these comments, TMA has extended the exhibit time. Exhibitors will now be available as you arrive during registration, providing the opportunity for more personal extended exploration of their products and services. Many of our exhibitors are leading nationwide clinical trials focused on myositis. We know many of our patients and care partners have a lot of questions about the clinical trials and the clinical trial process. Be sure to stop by and visit our exhibitors um, and learn more. Our exhibiting partners are truly dedicated to our patients, their care partners, and to helping you with your everyday needs. Be sure to stop by the exhibitor's booth to learn about our exhibitor's financial assistance programs and resources and tools that they have that can assist you. Next slide. This year, TMA is providing attendees a unique opportunity to hear more directly from our sponsors and exhibitors throughout our conference program. Conference attendees will have a unique opportunity to hear from experts associated with our corporate partners as they present on a wide range of topics to patients and care partner needs. These presentations will highlight for patients and care partners unique programs and support tools to help patients and their care partners navigate the complex healthcare landscape. Next slide. TMA would like to say a special thank you to these exhibitors who've already committed to joining us for the 2019 Annual Patient Conference. We'll be excited to see who else is joining and will be committing to this conference. TMA truly has the most wonderful corporate partners who are committed to those living with myositis. These, commit, these partners are committed to our community, not only during the conference, but throughout the year. I would now like to introduce Aisha Morrow, Manager of Operations, to discuss the conference logistics. Next slide. Thank you, Tricia. Hello, everyone. I would like to give a general overview of the hotel and conference logistics. Registration for this year's annual patient conference is currently $225. This is our early bird rate that ends on May 31st. Registration will increase on June 1st to $270. This rate will be available until August 1st. After August 1st, our final rate will be $320. This rate is also available for on-site registration. On-site registration is from Wednesday, September the 4th through Saturday, September the 7th. We currently have 147 TMA members registered for this year's conference. To register, please visit our website. Next slide. The following meals are included with your registration. Breakfast is provided on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Lunch is provided on Friday and Saturday. When completing your registration, please indicate which meal you desire. Regular meals, no dietary limitations. Vegan meals, excludes meat, eggs, and dairy products, dysphagia-friendly meals, swallowing difficulties, gluten-free meals, not containing gluten. Next slide. Scholarships are available. Thank you to our generous donors. The application process will be posted on our website this week. The application process includes submitting a written form to TMA, our scholarship committee approves all scholarships. Applicants will be notified in writing of approval. Scholarships cover your hotel room for three nights to be shared with your spouse or care partner, conference registration for a patient and spouse or care partner, no travel included. Meals are included in conference registration. Next slide. 
This year's annual conference will be hosted by the Double Tree by Hilton Bloomington Minneapolis South Hotel. Our group rate is $112. This rate is available until August 12th. This rate allows for a standard room, king or double bed located in one of the towers, a cabana room, king or double bed surrounding the pool and atrium area. Unfortunately, all ADA rooms for our host hotel have been reserved. Next slide. Still needing ADA room? Still needing an ADA room? The Sheraton Bloomington Hotel, TMA have a block of ADA rooms only at the Sheraton Hotel, just a short crosswalk from the Doubletree. TMA group rate for this hotel is $112. This rate is available until August the 12th. If you are still needing assistance with hoteling requirements, please contact me directly at aisha at myositis.org or 703-553-2630. Next slide. Plan your trip. The Doubletree by Hilton Hope offers a free shuttle to and from the airport. Pickups from Terminal 1 are at the top of every hour. Pickups from Terminal 2 are at the bottom of every hour. Members coming in from Terminal 2 need to call the hotel for pickups at 612-326-8095. Other transportation options to and from the airport. Super Shuttle, $25 one way each person. Contact information listed. Taxi Cab, average is $30 fare. Taxi cabs are located in Terminal 2 at the Ground Transportation Center, located on the ground level of the purple ramp directly across from the terminal building. Power chair and scooter rentals. Scooter and wheelchair rentals, free pickup and delivery. Please call for details, number listed. Scooter round. Please call for details, the numbers listed. Dolly Medical Supply. Please call for details, numbers listed. For additional transportation information, please visit our website. Next slide. Next, we have Rose DeDucha from the Bloomington Convention Center to talk about things to do in Bloomington. Thank you for joining us today, Rose. Thank you, Lisa. As she said, I'm Rose Judica. I'm National Account Manager for the Bloomington Convention and Visitors Bureau. And I am so excited your group has chosen Bloomington as your host city for your annual conference in September 2019. Bloomington is simply central. We're located just minutes from the Minneapolis-St. Paul Airport only 15 minutes from downtown Minneapolis and downtown St. Paul, connected by light rail transportation. Bloomington offers complimentary parking and hotel airport shuttle service from both of our airports and the Mall of America. Bloomington is home of the Mall of America. The Mall of America is an entertainment complex with over 520 stores, over 50 restaurants, and we have tax-free on clothing and shoes. The entertainment venues at the Mall of America, just to mention a few, we have Flyover, Crayola Experience, Sea Life, Underwater Aquarium, Gameworks, Smash, and Nickelodeon Park. If there's any print stands, Paisley Park is only 15 minutes from your host hotel. And Casino Lovers, Mystic Lake is about 20 minutes from your host hotel. Bloomington offers our groups brochures, visitor guides, and a very unique VIP voucher, which includes the Mall of America coupon book and a large shopping bag. It's a $15 value. Bloomington looks forward to hosting your annual conference in September, and we'll see you soon. Thank you, Rose. 
Sankal, sounds like we have many exciting social opportunities this year. TMA is very excited. Next slide. TMA is very excited to share that Thursday night, we have a very special Show Your Stripes reception that we'll be hosting during this year's conference. Why Show Your Stripes? When you hear the sounds of hooves, think horses, not zebras. This phrase is taught to medical students throughout their training. In medicine, the term zebra is used in reference to a rare disease or condition. Doctors are taught to assume that the simplest explanation is usually correct to avoid patients being misdiagnosed with rare illnesses. Doctors learn to expect common conditions, but when medical professionals seem to forget that zebras do exist, and so getting a diagnosis and treatment can be more difficult for sufferers of rare conditions. Our Show Your Stripes reception is a chance for us to celebrate the zebras. Remember to pack your most fun striped outfit it promises to be a fun and exciting night. We will now begin our question and answer session. As a reminder, participants can ask a question by typing it into the chat box located at the bottom of the screen. We will, I will be hoping to facilitate today's question and answer session. First question, do you have to be a current support group leader to attend the support group training? LaDonna, can you take that question? Yes, you have to be a current support leader in order to attend the support group training at the annual conference. Next question. Can my family members attend the conference with me? I'll answer that. Anyone can attend the conference with a paid registration. Next question. John, this question's for you. What has been your best experience at the conference? What an, insight, what an insightful uh, question. Um, you know, we, we as sufferers of myositis find our lives uh, in turmoil and upside down. And because of the disease, we're often limited in what we can do socially. So what I've found at the conference is, is the experience of meeting people, the experience of talking to someone that has my disease and sharing with them what it's affect, how it's affected me and, and what it's done to my life and then also listen to them and find out, uh, you know, what they've experienced and trying to determine uh, how we can make our lives better. And we do that by, you know, sharing with others with our disease. Thank you. What a good question. Okay. The next question, Rose, this is for you. Will you be at the conference to help us sign up for activities, or how do we do that? Yes, our convention service department will schedule a time that best works out for your conference to be there. We provide a welcome table with brochures, a literature, things to do. We can suggest restaurants and activities. Also, I also I would make a personal uh, visit to my contact, Mary, and we'll stop in and, and say hello, and uh, that we usually set up prior to visit you and your staff to make sure everything is going right on schedule for you. Thanks, Rose. Next Thank question. you. Do I need an ADA room if I don't, do I need an ADA room if I don't need a rolling shower? Because members have various requirements that don't require a rolling shower, examples are toilet seat risers, beds raised, um, various 
needs and requirements for the hotel itself. If you are requiring some of these items, please contact me directly at Aisha, A-I-S-H-A, at myositis.org, or call me at 703-553-2630. Myself and the hotel will do our best to accommodate. Next question, are there any rooms available at the host hotel? I'll answer that as well. Yes, we do have hotel rooms still available at the Doubletree. However, there are no more ADA rooms available at this hotel. If you are still needing an ADA room, please contact the Sheridan Hotel. Next question. Can you please provide more information on the new sessions? Linda, can you answer that question? I sure can. So we have a number of, we have many new sessions that we're having this year. Um, and um, uh, some of them I've already talked about. Others include, um, we have a, um, a physical therapist who will be there talking about pain management and quality of life. We will have a, a special focus on care partners this year and the, some of the challenges that they've got. And one of the sessions will be um, resilience for care partners. And because um, we're, we're focusing a lot on um, who you are matters, we've got a session for um, people who have been diagnosed with myositis as children, so people who have ju juvenile myositis, and how is that different from, um, from people who have been diagnosed as adults with myositis? So um, those are just a few of the new sessions, and there are many more. You can see more um, on our agenda as it becomes, um, as it evolves, and it will be available on our website. Thanks, Linda. Next question. Do you have to be a current support group leader for the training? LaDonna, this can you year we, Yeah, this year we have two trainings, one for current support leaders, and then we'll have a special training for those who are interested in being a support leader. So if you're interested, we'll be sure to, um, to come to the session. We'll be able to answer all your questions and how to start a support group and how to reach um, members in your area. Thanks, LaDonna. Next question, will the support groups be visible at the reception and will they be required to do anything? They have to bring, do they have to bring material to share and man tables? LaDonna, can you answer yes. that question? Yes, they will be able to have tables at the reception where they will showcase their support group. They will have pictures, copies of their newsletters, and members will be in the area that you'll be able to talk to to know more about the support group. Next question. Is the hotel shuttle accessible from hotel? I'll answer that question. The hotel does provide a shuttle to and from the airport. Please contact the hotel ahead of, time, ahead of your arrival to ensure they can accommodate you. Next question, um, John, this one's for you. Will we have an opportunity to hear from the board at the conference? Well, thank you. Uh, yes, again, that's a very good question. Um, the board has a session on Sunday morning where we present all the board members. They will tell their story of why they're on the board Maybe if they are a care partner or if they have a particular disease, they'll uh, talk to that point. But can I again reiterate that if you're interested in the board members, you know, we're gonna be wearing the black name tags. Just stop and talk to us, you know. We're, we're patients and, and people just like you are, so don't be afraid. Um, you know, we might even be able to talk you into helping serve on the board and, making TMA even greater tomorrow. Thank you, Aisha, that was a very good question. Thanks, John. Next question, how do you apply for, for scholarships and when do you apply? I'll answer part of that question. Scholarship information will be listed on our website this week. 
But Donna, can you provide more information on the process? Yes. The process this year will, you will send in a 250-word essay on why you would like to come to the annual conference. After I receive your, your application, it will then go to the committee who would then decide on the people that they're going to allow to come to the conference and then you will be notified um, within like in July um, to, to you will know when you'll be able to um, come to the conference. Thank you, LaDonna. Next question, will the MA be presenting about new myositis research? Linda, can you answer that? I sure can. Um, the medical advisors will be um, um, present at a panel discussion with all 20 some members on Saturday morning. Each of them will talk about their own research projects and what's happening um, in their labs. Um, we'll also have a session um, about new, my, new research for inclusion body myositis. And we're hoping to have another session that, that talks about where we've come in the, in the process of research in myositis and where we still have yet to go. So we have a number of opportunities. Thanks, Linda. Next question. Will you be live broadcasting any of the conference for people who cannot attend? Linda, can you also answer that one? Sure. Um, on Saturday during the day, throughout the day, the session, we will have one session during each time that will be broadcast live, um, starting with the medical advisors um, at nine o'clock. Thank you. Next question, can you register for one day? I'll answer that question, yes. The registration fee for one day is $100 per person. Next slide, please. This concludes our webinar. Thank you to all our presenters. In appreciation for all, in appreciation to all for attending today's webinar, we have a special announcement. For the first 25 people who have never attended the conference and registered today, you will have a TMA baseball cap. A reminder to all that early bird registration ends on May 31st, so please be sure to register to save $45. Please join us for our next slide. Please join us for our next webinar on May 8th at 12 p.m. Eastern Time to hear from Dr. Dana. TMA Medical Advisory Board member and pulmonologist from Johns Hopkins University, and Dr. Johnson, pulmonologist from University of Penn, about women of color with myositis. Visit our visit TMA's homepage to register. Next slide. This concludes our webinar. Thank you for joining us.